With a vote of 218 to 212, the House supplemental barely passed, and its chances of making it through the Senate are slim, with the major sticking point being a timeline for troop withdrawal. Many lawmakers are now worried the troops won't get the funds they need in time. H.R. 1591, an act making emergency supplemental appropriations for the fiscal The Senate year began December debate on a piece of legislation that would provide $122 billion to fund the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. The Senate measure requires a phased redeployment with the goal of removing most U.S. combat troops from Iraq by March 31st, 2008. This is a good bill. And I urge prompt action on this legislation. President Bush has vowed to veto any legislation that includes a timeline for withdrawal. The Senate voted last week on a similar bill that also included a withdrawal timeline. That legislation was defeated 50 to 48. The Senate has spoken on this issue. Republican Senator Inclusion Thad Cochran of, of Mississippi introduced an amendment to remove the timeline, a move he says will give the funding bill a shot at becoming law. We need to approve the funding now unnecessarily expending this debate is not going to serve the national interest. The commanders have said that they need by April 15th uh, the beginning part of this funding so that they can uh, carry out the mission that we've asked them to perform. If the Senate can't agree on legislation or if it passes a bill the president vetoes, a temporary funding solution will be needed. What we may end up with is some kind of bridge funding bill. Um, it's been suggested that it was a smaller funding bill that would cover a couple months that would help give time for Congress to work out this issue. Senate Republicans also take issue with the amount of pork attached to this bill, so many votes are expected on the makeup of this legislation before that final vote. Reporting for Politico.com, Nicole Collins, News Channel 8.